Hi there! For this video, we'll be evaluating this expression that involves tangents and sines. So first, to simplify things, we let x be equal to 40 degrees. So our expression would now be equal to tangent square x minus sine square x all over tangent square x times sine square x. Now the next thing that I would do is that we would take note that tangent x is actually equal to sine x over cosine x. So that's a basic trigonomic identity. Or to remember that, just remember the Soktoa. So this one would become sine x over cosine x square minus sine square x all over sine x over cosine x square times sine square x. And now, the next thing that we should do is we first distribute this square out here to avoid confusion. So we will have sine square x over cosine square x minus sine square x all over sine square x over cosine square x times sine square x. So let's put this identity out here at the upper right corner so we would remember that one and so the next thing that i can do is i can actually multiply cosine square x in the numerator and cosine square x on the denominator to cancel out this one so by that i mean I will multiply this one by cosine square x over cosine square x. And note that we can do that since um, cosine square x over cosine square x is just like a um, number over the same number, which we know to be 1. And so we have sine squared x minus sine squared x times cosine squared x all over sine squared x times sine squared x. Now the next thing that I would do out here is I can factor out this sine squared x outside. So by that, we will have sine square x times 1 minus cosine square x all over sine square x times sine square x. And now, note that this 1 minus cosine square x is actually equal to sine square x. So the reason behind that is because we have another identity in trigonometry stating sine square x plus cosine square x is equal to 1. So manipulating this identity would give us sine square x is equal to 1 minus cosine square x. And so we have sine square x times sine square x all over 
sine squared x times sine squared x. Now is this, can we just cancel out the numerator and the denominator since they are both the same? Well, initially, we can't do that since if sine squared x is equal to 0, then we will have 0 over 0, which is an indeterminate or does not have a value. But luckily, we know that right here, x is equal to 40 degrees. So that means that this one is equal to sine square of 40 degrees times sine square of 40 degrees all over sine squared times 40 degrees times sine square of 40 degrees. And we know that this one is not equal to 0 because sine would only be 0 at the values or at x equals 0 degrees, 180 degrees, 360 degrees, and such. So that is from our knowledge on trigonometry, signs from the unit circle. So if you can recall that one, we know that this sine 40 degrees is not equal to zero, which means that this one simplifies into one. And this one is actually the answer for this problem. So we are, were able to simplify the given expression into just one. So the key in answering this one is to master your trigonometric identities. And don't forget to take note of this given. That's 40 degrees. Since without that, we can just cancel out the numerator and the denominator to arrive at one. So recall your trigonometry and hopefully you also got this answer. But as usual, feel free to comment down below if you have any questions, clarifications, or even a better solution to answer this problem. So thanks again and that is all for this video.